Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you what to do in a major accident. Well, I'll be telling you, I won't be showing you. I don't know why I use that intro, but I'll definitely be telling you. So there are a few extra things that you're going to do in a major accident that you wouldn't regularly do in a minor accident. So you have to figure out if the accident is minor or major. And if it's a major one, you should be doing these things. Now, I'm trying to keep these things in the best order that I can, but you might have to adjust the order because it all depends on the accident itself and everyone that's involved. But I tried to keep them in a relatively straightforward order. Let's get right into the video. Number one is you want to see if anyone needs medical attention. If you've been in a major car accident, the first and the most important thing is medical attention. If someone is hurt or injured and they need medical attention, you need to get the medical people there, uh, whether they're paramedics or uh, a different type of medical personnel, there. ASAP. So see if anyone needs medical attention. And step number two is if they need medical attention, call the medical professionals ASAP. Having someone's health and well-being in place is the first and the most important thing that you need to take care of. And remember, like even if someone rear-ended you and it's like, it's not your fault, you know, you're so angry at this person. If they need medical help, get them help. Just don't worry about whose fault the accident is. If someone needs medical attention, get the medical attention. Okay, so that's steps one and two. Judge if someone needs medical attention. If they do, call the professionals. Step number three is to take pictures of the accident scene. You want to take as many pictures as you can. Now, don't take the same picture 40 times, but you want to take different pictures from different angles. Take pictures with, you know, different road signs in them, street signs, you know, different uh, areas of the sidewalk, different areas of the main road, different traffic lights, different angles you really want to get as many pictures as you possibly can because it will greatly help you with your proof of what happened in the accident the fourth thing to think about is don't move the cars because they're likely really damaged if you've been in a major accident chances are the cars are really damaged you don't want to move them just yet simply because if there are fluids on the floor it could be dangerous for you for every other driver you don't want to start the car because maybe it might not be functioning properly so you really just want to leave the cars there i know that it might suck because like you're taking up a lane or two lanes but you know what if you've been in a major accident safety has to come first so don't move the cars just yet simply because they're likely really damaged step number five is exchange information okay so you want to get their information and give them your information just in case you need to have it it's as simple as that okay exchange information um, step number six is you want to call your insurance provider and like I said this one you might want you might do this later on it all depends on how your insurance works where you live and what your insurance provider wants sometimes they'll give you like a certain number of hours or days to call them other times they want you to call right away but call your insurance provider is a step and let them know what happened right show say I have lots of pictures tell them where it happened tell them what happened and you know let them know that one step number seven goes with step number six you want to call to report the accident once you've reported the accident you know maybe a police officer will come and sort of record what happened uh, record the accident scene and, and say their thoughts um, and just basically you want to report the accident in whatever way you need to in some places you're gonna have to call the police officer in other places there's a specific accident line that you have to call it all depends on where you live but generally speaking you want to call to report the accident and the insurance company will likely look at the that accident report to get their take of what happened last but not least the eighth thing is you want to assess whether the car is drivable or not here's the thing I know you probably don't want to pay for a tow truck but don't drive the car if you can't drive it I've seen so many people get into an accident and drive try and drive their car home and like the wheel is like rubbing against the fender there's like fluids leaking on the floor it's not it's generally just a very unsafe situation to try and drive a car home that is not drivable i've seen people try and drive their car home with the airbags deployed in the car like i mean really come on okay get rid get with it get with the program assess whether the car is drivable or not if the car is truly drivable from an objective perspective i mean ask the police officer or ask uh, the medical professional if they think the car is drivable but if the car is drivable from an object objective perspective then you can drive it home or to your body shop in the mechanic shop whatever the case is but if it's not drivable which it most likely isn't if you've been in a major accident just get it towed it's as simple as that and that's it in this video i've told you what to do in a major car accident if you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching